Welcome to Pew Pew Park. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, you last saw the video I did on the unboxing of the PSP and all those movies and games. I have a few little updates for that movie, uh, for that video. Unfortunately, it turned out the battery was completely dead. Um, about six hours later after charging, no charge whatsoever. As soon as I unplugged it, it immediately had the blinking dead battery and then would shut off. Now, when I purchased it, uh, the way I purchased it, it was supposed to have a minimum of 80% capacity compared to a new battery. And they would not let me just exchange batteries. I had to return the whole thing and receive a whole new system. Now, I was kind of hesitant about that because, again, if you remember looking on the back, it was immaculate. However, I have a new system now. And it is pretty good on the back. Pretty good. Minus the tiniest little scuffs on there, which is no big deal. I do notice also this the uh, door does not close completely. Hangs off just a little bit. Uh, hopefully that's fine. Other than that, it is in pretty good uh, condition. Again, it is a little little smudgy. We'll, uh, take care of that real quick. A little better. Uh, I use my shirt. I should probably use the actual microfiber, but yeah, it's in pretty good condition. And the best part is it turns on. Now, the thing is with the old one and this one, it apparently already has custom firmware on it, which saves me a step. As you can see, the battery, the 84%, it was at 88 earlier, which is good. That's fine. But as you can see, it already has custom firmware on it, which is really cool. Now, the last system I had, if you remember, it was pretty noisy playing uh, games. So we're going to see how this one is. Pop the UMD in. It's so much quieter, which is good. So you can hear it. See? Remember, uh, the last is much super loud. So, actually, I guess, overall, it was a better... It was a good idea to turn in the old one. I'm still going to replace the screen, but that will be another day. Or not. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, super cool. So much quieter than the old one, and the battery actually works. I'm going to call this a win. So happy. Um, another thing I did was the micro SD I used in the old system. I actually put my Switch because it's a Samsung uh, Select. Uh, and then I put the other one that was in my Canon uh, SL3 into this one. Yeah, this. Turn it off. But uh, yeah. And then I bought a whole new uh, full size memory card for the camera. Now, something I think I tried to show you last time, however, I forgot to save the file apparently to the memory card, so it did not uh, work. Was the camera. So we'll go ahead. I'll film on both systems and I will compare them. It's not going to be much of a comparison. This is shooting 4K. This is uh, 1.4 megapixels. Okay, so apparently the connection wasn't that good, but I think I got it. Hopefully you can see me on there somehow. It's not the greatest. But there it is. So this is what it looks like on the 1.3 megapixel PSP camera. Doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look good either. Let's see if I can remember how to uh, save this. 
So there you go. You see the difference between the cameras. Stark difference. But just because the camera's not that great doesn't mean this isn't a cool, nifty accessory. Hopefully the sound comes out because right there, that's the microphone. <laughs> Don't know if it picked up. But there you have it. Next time we show the PSP, we're going to be doing a screen replacement. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, put them in the comments below. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.